My name is Merrick Gertler, and it is my privilege to serve the University of Toronto as its 16th president. Today, I have the additional privilege of assisting Chancellor Rose Patton in conducting this special honorary degree ceremony. I bid a warm welcome to everyone who has joined us virtually from around the globe. In compliance with public health directives in the province of Ontario to help stop the spread of COVID-19, we are conferring all honorary degrees virtually. In normal times, this ceremony would have occurred during a convocation ceremony, where we gather in person to celebrate the achievements of our U of T graduates and our honorary degree recipients together. And so I would like to thank our honorary graduate, the Honorable Harry S. LaForme, for agreeing to accept the University of Toronto's highest honor under these unique circumstances. I would also like to thank Ms. Janice LaForme for agreeing to serve as Hooder an important ceremonial role in the conferral portion of the convocation ceremony. It is now my great honor to present Justice Harry LaForme. Justice Harry LaForme is widely regarded for his distinguished judicial career, during which he presided over numerous high profile and complex trials in both criminal and civil law. He has authored many decisions in the Ontario Court of Appeal that demonstrate his independent thinking and passionate understanding of both the rule of law and Canada's parliamentary democracy. A member of the Mississaugas of the Credit First Nation, Justice LaForme was accepted to Osgoode Law School despite a lack of post-secondary education, ultimately graduating in 1977. Called to the Ontario Bar in 1979, Justice LaForme established his own law practice where he advocated for Indigenous clients in Canada and abroad. Justice LaForme was known for his steadfast advocacy in treaty rights cases, land claims, and charter issues. He would go on to oversee the groundbreaking report on federal land claims policy, which led to the creation of the Federal Indian Claims Commission. In January 1994, Justice LaForme was appointed a judge of the Ontario Court of Justice where he broke new ground by ruling in favor of legalizing same-sex marriage in 2002. In November 2004, Justice LaForme was appointed to the Ontario Court of Appeal. He is not only the first Indigenous person to be appointed to sit on any appellate court in the history of Canada, but in the entire Commonwealth. In October 2018, he retired from the Ontario Court of Appeal, but continues his work towards reconciliation between Indigenous and non-Indigenous peoples. For his outstanding service to the nation as an exemplary advocate for Indigenous rights, land claims, education, and self-government, and for his excellence in the professions through his distinguished judicial career, Chancellor Patton, on behalf of the Governing Council, I ask you to confer the degree of Doctor of Laws Honoris Causa upon Justice Harry S. LaForme. On behalf of the University of Toronto and by virtue of the authority vested in me, I have the great honour and pleasure of conferring on you, Harry Laforme, the degree of Doctor of Laws Honoris Causa. As the newest member of the University of Toronto alumni, Dr. LaForme, I extend warmest congratulations on behalf of the entire UOT community. Before Dr. LaForme addresses convocation, Ms. Winona Miracle from the Anishinaabe, Mi'kmaq, and Ganyenge Haga nations will perform an honor song in tribute to him. Across Turtle Island, the drum is central to many indigenous nations and is used in traditional ceremonies and social occasions. It has the power to awaken the spirit and it reminds us of our connection to creation. When an individual, family, or community has completed an action with kindness or truth that is honorable or courageous, the honor song is one of the highest recognitions they can receive. On this special day, I'm grateful to have the opportunity to pay tribute to Dr. Harry LaForme, a member of the Mississaugas of Credit First Nations, with this honor song.
I now invite you to deliver your address. Ani, hello. To all gathered on this special day of convocation, miigwech. Thank you for this opportunity to share this special day with you, your loved ones and friends. I feel very privileged to be here with you to celebrate your achievements. I am humbled by the honor being bestowed upon me by the University of Toronto, an institution that symbolizes the highest learning, knowledge, and social justice. This university holds a special connection to me. I am Ganajua Wawasquene, powerful light in the sky. I am Anishinaabe of the Eagle Clan of the Mississaugas of the Credit First Nation, whose territory this grand university sits on. I am also Harry Laforme, who sat as the very first ever First Nation judge on the Ontario Court of Appeal. I was born and raised on my reserve. As an Indigenous child, I had dreams about life and the possibilities it held. None included law or sitting on a court of appeal. That was a dream for others, those who were not like me. Nevertheless, life's journey includes circumstances that take us off the path we might believe is ours forever. That was me in the early 1970s. It was then that an Indigenous people's movement began about our relationship with Canada and our place in it. Like many of you, I was searching for that place that called to me. This Indigenous movement was mine. Law, I believed, was critical to the future of Indigenous people in Canada and our relationship with it. After many years, history has proven me correct. Law and the positions I have been privileged to occupy within it have given me a career and life that has been wondrous. One that, even if I had dreamed about it, could not have included that which I lived. 150 plus years ago, Indigenous people, first on this land, were described as the Indian problem. We were not like the settlers, but Canada said we needed to be. Solutions were explored. Cultural genocide was the favored choice. This choice, we know, was horrifically wrong. This history was my focus in law. It inspired me. It was my passion. It was about me and about my people. It was personal. This history and the possible remedies and solutions to correct it was what I wanted to speak to. I wanted to be part of that change, not merely a hopeful observer. I worked at this with dedication and passion and accepted every opportunity presented to me that would allow me to speak even louder. I also knew my cultural imperative to show that Indigenous people belong that they added value and a unique perspective to every space that made decisions about Canada. Throughout, I never forgot who I was, where I came from, and how I wanted my people to benefit and be proud of my efforts. I wanted them to want to join me, and many did. As I move forward toward the end of my career, I look back and say, I loved it all. I would do it all over again. My message to you is find that subject you feel passion for. Tirelessly work at it with dedication. If you do so, you too will be able to say, I would do it all over again. All of you will be part of the necessary changes that are coming, some in a small way. You are our future. And I'm reassured by that. Be the zealous guardians of all of us. And know this, I have faith in you. Thank you again for allowing me to share your special day. Miigwech, congratulations. Thank you, Dr. Laforme. Let me say you have inspired us with your lifetime career and accomplishments. And today, you have inspired us with your words. 
we are delighted to count you among the most distinguished members of our alumni community. In closing, I offer warm congratulations to you and all graduates in the class of 2021.